Hey, and welcome back to Colored Creations. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm very happy to see you. Uh, well, actually, I can't see you, but I'm glad that you are here and you can see my videos. Okay. Um, today you'll, you will get to see a time lapse video of the color splash painting I did of the Columbus Spaniel Adler. I really like the outcome, so I hope that you'll enjoy the process. For this piece, I've used watercolors, some masking fluid to keep the white parts white. I've used fine liners and polychromos pencils for details and some white gel pen as well. While you are watching this, I thought that I would take the opportunity to answer a question I got from Esther at Plannerholics. Uh, she wants to know when and how I decided to draw cute and furry animals for a living. And um, actually, it wasn't my idea from the beginning. I have always loved to draw and paint. And perhaps I'll make a video some time showing you my early work. Um, yeah, maybe. Anyway, um, I've, I've always also had the issue of asking money for my work. And when I went to uni university, I was very active in a Staffordshire Bull Terrier community online. And one night when I couldn't sleep, I drew a friend's dog and posted work in progress pictures on the forum. Um, people started to ask me if I took commissions and how much I would charge to draw their dog. And since I had such a hard time putting a price tag on my time, uh, the people in the forum ended up discussing what would be suitable for me to charge. And that's when it started. So I kept it as a, like a paid hobby for a few years. And it was probably after my son was born that I had to, or um, more accurately speaking, I wanted to re-evaluate my life since... All the time I spent drawing or teaching dog classes was time that I spent away from my son and that had to be worthwhile. So in 2014 I decided to become a professional artist. Did you hear the air quotes? Yeah. Um, in Sweden we have great resources for people who are or want to be self-employed. So I used their calculations to get a more accurate picture of how much I should charge for my work. And then I put my price list below that, because I still felt very shy in taking people's money for my artwork. Um, it was an increase, but perhaps not big enough. Very well, um, a year later I was more or less forced into sick leave because I was completely worn out. After my son had started uh, daycare, I was excited to get back to work, so I combined uh, working as a high school teacher teaching dog classes, taking commissions, and attempting to study something in between 25-50%. or And yeah, the, how much you want to do things doesn't give you more hours in a week. So, long story short, when I finally felt good enough to work a bit again, I decided to stick to being an artist, um, both because art is my therapy. I, <laughs> I love to do art and it, it's good for my soul. And also, I got to work from home, so if I have a bad day, I could just go to bed. If I have a good day, I can work more. Anyway, um, one thing I had to work a lot on was to build my self-worth and the picture of me as a professional artist. Uh, one thing to tackle is when people ask me when I'm going to get a real job. Um, this is a real job. <laughs> Very much so. So that was a pretty long story of how I became an artist. And yeah, if you have any questions relating to art or dogs or babies or Harry Potter or anything, um, yeah, <laughs> just leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Hey, Dua!